Now, we'll take a look at integrating with external systems. Let's start with an overview of the web services available for us with Liferay DXP. The platform core services are created using the service builder pattern. JSON and SOAP web service APIs are available for all service builder services. JAXRS and JAXWS endpoints can be published for any ad hoc services. Liferay DXP also includes a REST builder tool. For the remote service, web service APIs are generated automatically for entities having the remote service equal true attribute. The at JSON web service annotation is added for remote enabled services, and all public methods become registered and available as JSON web services. Here's an example of us adding the remote service equals true in service.xml, specifically adding remote service equals true to the assignment entity. And here is the automatically generated code from the assignment service. A method can be prevented from being exposed as a web service by setting the mode attribute to JSON web service mode dot ignore in the remote service implementation class. All JSON web services are mapped to either get or post HTTP methods. Get, if the method name starts with get, is, or has, and it's mapped to post for all other method prefixes. HTTP methods can be defined on a service method level as pictured in the example. By setting the JSON web service mode to manual, the methods to be exposed can be declared manually. In the example below, only the get assignment method is exposed to the web service API. Here you can see some of the configurations for the JSON web service API within portal.properties. We can test the JSON web service API by going to localhost 8080 slash API slash JSON WS. There you'll find URL, CURL, and JavaScript examples. Liferay DXP uses Apache Access for the SOAP services. To generate the SOAP API for your custom application, the WSDD builder task has to be added to the project to create the web service definition. The WSDD creation process is described in detail in the developer tutorial section of dev.liferay.com. The hosts allowed to access the SOAP API can be defined explicitly in the portal ext.properties file. We can test the SOAP API by visiting localhost 8080 slash API slash access. Liferay DXP supports publishing JAXWS and JAXRS services via the Apache CXF implementation. Apps can publish JAX web services to the CXF endpoints. Publishing JAXWS and JAXRS services requires defining an endpoint and an extender. CXF endpoints are context paths that the JAX web services are deployed to and are accessible from. Extenders specify where the services are deployed. SOAP extenders are used for publishing JAXWS web services, and each SOAP extender can deploy the services to one or more CXF endpoint. For publishing JAXRS web services, we use REST extenders, and REST extenders are analogous to the SOAP extenders we use for JAXWS services. The steps we'll use for publishing a JAX web service are to first create an OSGI service component for the web service, configure a Liferay endpoint to access the REST service, and finally map the endpoint to your REST service using the REST or SOAP extender. The REST builder tool is an API generator tool that Liferay provides, which consumes open API profiles and generates the API scaffolding including JAXRS endpoints, parsing, XML generation, and advanced features like filtering or multi-part support. The developer only has to fill the resource implementations, calling Liferay remote services.